Hey everyone, so we're day eight of Project Clear Skin. How are you all doing? Let me know. Don't forget to like and comment. Any questions that, you know, so far, how are you getting on, then throw them at me and I'll do my best to come back and help you. Um, so I'm here with the lovely Loz today, my good friend Loz. And Loz, we're going to talk about exfoliation okay. of the skin. I think it has to be done at day eight. We need to now think about are we actually helping our skin to renew those dead cells? Um, so, do you exfoliate? What's your experience with exfoliation? I've never exfoliated before. Okay. I like that. <laughs> and, and actually, I'm a huge fan of exfoliation. It is an important function for our skin because we need to give our skin a bit of a helping hand to shed all of those dead skin cells. It will reveal clearer pores. It will help with prevention of um, outbreaks. Um, and of course, you know, get rid of any dry areas. And it makes your products work harder. So when you put your moisturizer on afterwards, it can absorb into the skin. But for our younger viewers, such as yourself, don't get too obsessed with exfoliation. I get a little bit nervous about products out there that are really kind of promoting the fact of really aggressively scrubbing the skin. Um, a kind of general rule of thumb is think about how old you are that's roughly how many days it takes for your skin cells to turn over mm -hmm. and to shed. So the younger you are, the less exfoliation you want to be doing. So general rule of thumb, you want to maybe do once a week or once every other week, but no more at that young age. When you get old like me, exfoliate all the time. So now we need to look at kind of choices of exfoliants. Have, so have you used any, any scrubs or anything before? I use my cleanser, but yeah. I've never used an exfoliation okay. scrub. All right, well this is good because in fact there are two different types of exfoliants. So the first one I'm going to show you an example of is what we call um, more of a chemical exfoliant. So it uses enzymes from fruit or um, have you heard of things like AHAs, like fruit yeah. acids? So they kind of dissolve and digest the skin cells. So for example with this one, when you put it on the skin, it just looks like a cream. There's none of those gritty granules. If your skin is slightly more sensitised, you get redness, I would go for more of an enzymatic exfoliant. Yeah, so it's really gentle. You leave it on the skin for about five to six minutes and then wash off with your cleanser and moisturise. If your skin is a little bit more coarse, so by that I mean kind of like more open pores, oiliness, outbreaks, not so sensitive, you might want to go for a scrub. Mm -hmm. So um, these will have those little gritty granules in. So this one's really nice actually because it's quite fine. But you can feel. Yeah. Yeah. So you've actually got what we call a mechanical exfoliation going on. It's that physical action of sloughing away dead skin cells. I love these, but please be careful. Um, there are lots of products out there that will have things like nut kernels in, um, which aren't really spherical. They're very sharp and they will literally, imagine kind of like an icer, an icer? An ice skater. <laughs> Not an icer. Um, an ice skater on a rink. And that kind of what it does, it literally scratches away at your skin. So if you're going to go for a scrub, Look for ingredients that are beads or spherical kind of products, not kind of um, yeah nuts and, and big, gritty, harsh, abrasive products. Mm -hmm. um, so have a think about what you choose. Think about how old you are, how often does my skin cells turn over, and remember, less is more. Thank you, Loss. Thank your hands. You.